This video is sponsored by PokedownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. The new Sword and Shield online booster packs are also available, so definitely check them out, PokedownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How amazing is that? Check it out. What's up YouTube, it's Zandos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're going to be playing with the first place winning list of the Limitless Qualifier number one. Oliver Rashin Monchito, if I pronounce that correctly, from Mexico got first place in this tournament with uh, 945 players that uh, have successfully entered that tournament. I already did a live stream of that uh, tournament. I did not uh, do as well as the other players, but uh, this is the main winning list. We have Zacian here. Zacian ADP uh, reminds us a little bit about, uh, yeah, uh, compared to like the uh, Malmo list of the the list that Thor Reckler used to win the Malmo regionals in Sweden. The only difference here is that they opted to go for like more Marnie, I think. Also, we do see that they add a Tapu Fini in here as a hard counter against Baby Blastophalon. So with Marnie and having Tapu Fini in here, you uh, actually uh, increase your matchup, uh, yeah against uh, Baby Ball Cephalon. If you win against that, that's already a great thing because this list wins against every other deck in the format and uh, it's very powerful. We have custom catchers. We're able to save uh, the custom catchers uh, thanks to Orangroid Primate Wisdom uh, before we use uh, the research. That's very good. Other than that, straight uh, forward uh, Zacian ADP. We use Alter Creation Jacks as early as possible. Follow that up with uh, a Brave Blade of 260 damage and with the help of the two shrines in here, you get uh, 270 damage output. That is actually the magical number for uh, this list to a one-shot tag team so it's a uh, very straightforward also it does have three energy switch and um that's something that the uh, list of Tord Rackliff did not use. Energy Switch will make sure that out of nowhere you can use uh, an uh, Alter Creation GX on your first turn if you go second. And that will help out in the mirror match. So you have a good mirror match and you have uh, a better matchup against Baby Blastophil on your main weakness in the format. So we'll see if this list uh, has what it takes to win here on the versus ladder. I'm very excited to be playing uh, Zacian ADP. It's been a while since we played Zacian ADP. I checked out a bunch of rogue decks for you guys. You guys wanted to see a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm on the top of my head i'm thinking about uh yeah we made a list about gramble we even checked out quagnac once again even checked out a crazy claydol deck so this time around it's time for some straight tier one archetypes and uh, it's here uh we even start with jirachi which is fantastic we have lots of acrobikes we have energy spinners so the only thing we'll need to find at this point is the one and only uh adp so we do have an energy spinner so the only thing we need is an adp We'll see if that uh, is going to work out. Okay, we're up against Cramorant something something. We'll see. We can use Energy Spinner for a Water Energy, but I'm afraid I will be getting myself into trouble here. I'm going to go for Acrobike first. Metal Frying Pan or Custom Catcher. I think I'm going to go for the Custom Catchers. Probably going to work out in the end more. So here is another Acrobike. Going to take ourselves the Jirachi. Now we are going to go for energy spinner. I know uh, now, right now we are upping our chances of drawing into a quick ball. There's four quick ball in here. Hopefully we find that. We even have energy switch. So it will be not as bad as it seems. We do have quick ball here. That's the only thing you want in a list like this. Just using quick ball. We could put it, yeah, probably will need the other energy. Could find with Jirachi a uh, supporter. We'll see how, yeah, we definitely need a supporter. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna go for a quick ball and we're gonna get rid of, I don't think we'll need a Ranguru in this case. And getting rid of metal energy is probably more important. As soon as we draw a switch card or find a switch card from the Jirachi, I'm gonna play it safely. We don't need a Ranguru at this point. We just need an ADP and uh, we will be off here already. Getting, of course, that water energy equipped. It still don't know what I'm up against. Don't need the shrine. He could be knocking out our uh, Jirachi here with some sort of... Yeah, it's a grass deck. I don't know if grass decks do that. But just to play it safe, I'm gonna smack it on another Jirachi. You never know what happens. So that is what happens here when you go first with ADP. Attaching a water energy onto your ADP. Next turn, we just attach that metal energy. And hopefully, we will find a switch card to start using Alter Creation GX immediately. Grass energy onto the Cramorant. I think it's probably going to be a Rillaboom deck, if I'm uh, not mistaken. So, oh yeah, lots of things going away here. Custom Catcher, Twacky. Will we see Alolan Executor? That is the main question of the day. Okay, no, no Alolan Executor. He's just going to go for B-Catch. Not even seeing a Grookey is going to be huge in our case because uh, we will just need to use Alter Creation Jacks and don't, we only need to knock out like three knockouts as a bare minimum. 
Or if we knock out like uh, two GXs, it's gonna help us out more. Okay, what do we get? Okay, a Marnie. Well, that is actually very fine. We're gonna equip here. And then we're gonna play Marnie. So he has a huge hand. And even, uh, yeah, making sure that the big catch did not go successfully. All the good cards that he wants are on the bottom of his deck. Uh, yeah, now we just need to do some stuff here. We have Oranguru. We can use Oranguru first and then use the Stellarish. Ah, first thing first, Stellarish, let's go. Do we have a switch card? We have a Quick Bolt. Quick Bolt means the Dene. Okay. Uh, yeah, can we save something here? We can save the Custom Catcher. Yeah. So first things first, Quick Ball, we're gonna get rid of the energy switch, it will not be necessary in this, at this point. We're gonna get the Dedane up and rolling. And now you will see what the, the Orangaroo is here for. We're using Primate Wisdom to save uh, valuable cards like the Custom Catcher. Wow, <laughs> getting the research instead. Don't even need supporters anymore, we already already played a supporter. So the only thing we need is a switch card and we are not able to find a switch card. We are able to get a Zacian though, so we're gonna get rid of a Metal Energy finding ourselves a Zacian. The good news is the opponent is also at, at a slow start. Don't see any Grookies anywhere, so we can just use this. Go with the Metal Saucer, getting another energy equipped it onto the Zacian. And then use... Yeah, we can even use Custom Catcher. Hopefully we get... a Switch card? That would be, like, hilariously fantastic. We can just try it out. It is an energy switch. Well, not what, what you need, so... Uh, at this point, there's no need for it. Just inter Interpret Sword. We even get another energy, so... Fine. Okay, we uh, whiffed on the switch, like we used a bazillion cards in the deck already, and we whiffed the switch card. The bad news is the opponent could be playing like a Lonely Executor right there, as you can see, and if he uses that, he can actually uh, get rid of all of our energies at once. He will need, of course, uh, the ability here. We have Custom Catchers, which we can use again. Will he use B Catch again? Primate Wisdom first. He also has a, a Ranguru of its own. The good news is, if we knock out Cremorant, we only need to knock out this guy. We'll be rather easily. Yeah, he's gonna use the uh, free attack here. Rowlet and a little Executor. I wonder if we should go for Zacian immediately. Yeah, Zacian is not gonna get the KO. We definitely need to use Alter Creation GX. Okay. Interesting fact. Hopefully we get a switch card. I don't think uh, we will need a switch card at this point if we just manually attach. So that is an option. I'm gonna attach here. Funny enough, we can still get our energies back with Metal Saucer. And I think I'm gonna... Yeah, do we Marnie? He only has two cards in the hand. I think I'm just gonna go for the other strategy around. I'm just gonna go for Alter Creation Jax. It doesn't seem to have a lot going for him. And uh, yeah, I think that's fine. We can use the Primate Wisdom if we want to just get rid of this. See what we get. We got her research. We can go deep, uh, deep into the deck next turn if we want to. Here comes Alter Creation Jax. Pa -pa if we go deep in the deck, we find probably our Shrine and a Switch card, so we can get Brave Blade for 260, knocking this guy out, getting four prize cards in the process. That would be insane. That means we only need to knock out one more Pokemon and we're done for. So this guy's probably gonna go for the Calming Hurricane, 150 damage while healing up some damage. This doesn't matter, our ADP will uh, tank that like a champ. We're gonna see a Tackle. What will the opponent grab? Some supporters, Goose Mahala, Malolana. At this point, it looks fine. Does he play Chaotix well? Otherwise, he's in for a huge amount of trouble. The Shrine will take in some huge damage numbers. We are one turn behind because we whiffed on the switch, but uh, thanks to our Oranguru saving Custom Catchers and our big research that we're gonna use, we are able uh, to get things going here. I'm also gonna use Energy Switch, by the way. We have not seen any single switch cards. Could they all be priced? That is uh, the main question. Ordinary Rod, what well, will he get back? Twacky and Energies, it's fine. Totally fine. Okay, here comes the Calming Hurricane. We tank that. ADP does have 280 HP. Okay. At this point, I think I'm just gonna go for Primate Wisdom. Saving our Custom Catcher. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. We're also gonna probably see some energies at this point. Okay, we just get a manual attachment of the turn. Totally awesome. Uh, we can just attach here. And go for the Heavy Research. Hopefully we find a switch card. Hopefully two custom catchers. And a switch card. Wow, what is this busted hand? What is this busted hand? Look at this. We didn't find shrine, but that can wait for one turn if we just get one. The shrine could help. We can custom catch or something else. Knock it out. Probably not, because that's the only gust we have left. Acrobike. Finding the Dene. Yeah, we don't need Tapofini in this matchup. 
Okay, do we gust something and knock it out? I think we gust out Rillaboom. Mm, is that a b good option though? 260, he will heal off some damage so the Shrine will not work anymore. Shrine will not work anymore. If we gust up Rillaboom, he cannot accelerate energies. He has to come with his Zacian, uh, with his uh, Rowlet and Alrol Executor. Yeah, maybe we two-shot this. He could also accelerate here and then get rid of all of our energy. So I, that's something I don't want. So I think I will just go and grab ourselves the Rillaboom, knock that out safely, get some prize cards in the process, and uh, hopefully we get a switch card. We got two prize cards. He's going to have to come with this, otherwise he's not going to be able to attack. So that's fine with us. What do we get? We get Zacian and we get an energy. Okay. Interesting development. Still not having a, We only used one switch so far, which is the crazy part about this. He has not uh, put up another, uh, yeah, Grookey. So he's gonna have to attack here. He can get rid of all of our energies at once, which is the scary part. But we do have Metal Saucers in hand. Don't, not gonna abuse them. Yeah, we just get some damage smacked around. It's fine. Okay, a skateboard. Mm, nope, not gonna use that. Prime Wisdom, putting the Zacian back. What do we get? Energy switch. Okay. If we retreat, we're probably gonna get a switch card, right? We can retreat, attach of the turn, and also use... Yeah, I wonder if we should use that. If we go to Jirachi, find a switch card, we can immediately put up some pressure here. Yeah, probably gonna do that. We're gonna retreat. Gonna go for the Stellar Wish. Ta -ta. Finding the switch card. That's what we wanted. And now, we are just gonna go for Metal Saucer. He doesn't seem to have any other uh, ways to get rid of our energies. So, Metal Saucer right there. Touch of the turn here. Switching. We can even switch and get to this Jirachi. We already manually retreated, unfortunately, so... Let's go to Zacian once again, reset the effect, get an escape board right there, and I think it should be good, right? He's already smacked 260, even if he heals up some damage, ADP can finish off, or we just put up Shrine, and that's gonna be the game. The best deck in the format, Zacian ADP. Okay, he can heal off 60 damage, and also use the attack to heal off 30 damage, using a Mellow and Llama. Yeah, he could actually heal up a lot here. 120. Will he find a switch card though? Yeah, this guy healed up completely. Custom catcher for three. Will he have? A f Will he find a switch card? How many switch cards in his discard pile? Zero. Will he find a supporter? Ordinary rod again. So lots of ordinary rods in here. Getting a little bit scared. A little bit. Uh, yeah. That is not what you want to see here. This guy healing up completely. Definitely need to find that shrine at one point. Station. Okay, they just concede. Fine, they're stuck in the active. They don't have a chance against this most powerful deck in the format. And we'll be playing another round with Station ADP. Okay, using this list is rather nice. It's too bad that we uh, whiffed on switches. I think that a lot of them were priced. I should have checked that early on, but it's fine. We're going to be playing another round. Hopefully, we're up against Baby Blacephalon so we can showcase Tapu Fini. That would be very good. Okay, it's a mirror match. Also good. We can uh, showcase Energy Switch. Energy switch could help out a ton here. Okay, Tails never fails. We want the coin flip. We're gonna go first. That's always nice in mirror match. You go first, attach of the turn, unless they're playing hammers. Okay, gonna start with Oranguru, not with the Dedenne. We have energy switch and all that. Okay, we have to smack down the Dedenne. Here is Zacian ADP. Okay, do we smack down the shrine? Probably, because we're gonna get the first attack up, right? Okay, quick ball. We're gonna get rid of an energy and finding ourselves Zacian? Or not Zacian, uh, ADP. How many energy spinners in here? Two of them, four metal saucers, two water energies. Okay, the chance of us finding a water energy will be huge. So I'm gonna use this, get an energy on there yeah we could also whip with the energy there's all yeah I'm gonna do it safely attaching just a safely energy over here smacking down the shrine is gonna help us both I know I'm gonna switch to this and I'm gonna go for the Jidane we need to find more resources what is this Tisha Geo shuffles Acrobike Jirachi wow this is ridiculously bad 
Mac and Dan Jirachi, and yeah, we have Metal Saucers, but it's not gonna work unless we draw. Wow, what is this madness? Four Metal Saucers. Can you believe that? I don't know if we're gonna win this, guys. TCGO shuffles happen. Whoa, whoa, what? Four Metal Saucers. Is there any way? What? What are the odds, actually? We did get that first energy over here, so finding the water energy will be crucial. Or a switch card for... Okay, they can see. What is this? They can see. Don't, don't have uh, anything good in the hand. Well, I thought I had TCGO shuffles until the opponent just said, well, attach pass. Not gonna work in this scenario. We get the first ultra creation off and uh, yeah, yeah, lucky enough the opponent did not see our hand. Let's play another game. We're up against some fire. Yeah, this is probably gonna be baby blondes. Yeah, good to know. Or Mewtwo. If it's Mewtwo, I wonder if our strategy will work with the shrine. We're gonna go first again. So uh, luck is treating us well today. Hopefully you guys are all safe. Staying at home, staying safe. We have a quick ball, we have an energy spinner, which means Da, 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 ADP will be coming into action very shortly. We have Quick Ball. We only need to find some Switch Card as well. Oh, what is this? Alolan Grimers. Okay, I know what this is. This is a mill deck. A mill deck from scratch. So, we don't need to mill ourselves. Also, don't need a Metal Frying Pan. So, we're going to use Quick Ball. Gonna go for ADP. He could have Hammers as well. Yeah. We have all the necessary requirements to find ourselves some good stuff. We have the water energy. We only need to get this Orangru out of the active position somehow. Come on, finding ourselves quick ball or anything. Oh, Marnie is good. I, I'll take that, Marnie. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to attach the metal energy first. Don't want to get rid of our water energies just yet. He could be using something like a crushing hammer. That's why I'm not doing that. I'm just passing the turn. So, he could alter our hand, but I don't think they'll play a reset stand. They could. Here is Great Ball. This is going to be some sort of mill deck that uh, uses the aggression, the aggression of uh, the mucks to actually get rid of item cards. It's going to be very interesting to see. We have not checked this out on the channel just yet. Research very nifty. We have Custom Catcher so we can get three prize cards on the Zation, which is already fun. If he smacks down another two prize cards, it will be even more fun. So, this is the, the muck I was talking about. When they evolve, they may look at the top six cards of the deck and discard any number of item cards. So it helps with the mill process. Below Bob Bryson, man. Okay. There's three of them out there. So if he uses his three time, he can actually, uh, if there's a lot of items here, he can actually discard a lot of them. Very scared. Even McCargo popping up. Yeah. This can actually mill more than uh, a regular mill deck. Very aggressive. We'll see if we have a chance. Okay, another Metal Saucer. All of the cards that we don't want. First things first, Marnie. And switch card, come on. Switch, 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 switch. No switch card whatsoever. We can use the Denny though. First things first, Acrobike. What do we get? Another Acrobike. Well, at this point, we're gonna mill ourselves. Alright? We really need to find a switch card. Do we use the Denny at this point? Getting another energy into the discard pile. Will we be faster though? We need to get this guy out of the active position. He's gonna mill us like crazy. Okay, we have the switch. Fantastic. That's all I ever wanted. Getting the switch over here. Ta -ta. Don't need to use the Denny to mill ourselves. That would be insane. Okay. And we also have Oranguru with the research management, which could help out in the, in the long run. So we're gonna use Primus Wisdom, getting rid of Jirachi. Not putting an item on top. <laughs> Okay, there was another ADP here. Cool. Elder Creation GX. Now the opponent is on a clock. There's already a lot of items in the discard pile, which is good. So hopefully the mucks will not discard custom catchers. That's the main purpose here. If they discard custom catchers, they can easily promote some dolls and we will not have any custom catchers left. It's going to be very aggressive for us to get out of this scenario. He has Quick Ball. I don't see any Poké Dolls though. A Rangaroo pops up. This guy does have a 2 retreat cost, so at least that will be stuck for one more turn. Okay, they can see it. Everybody can see it's against Zation ADP. We would have gotten the attack off, gotten two prize cards, and the opponent would be on the clock. And uh, again, this is the best deck in the format. We're going to be playing another game. Did not expect that we're going to be playing three games. But yeah, uh, we were playing lots of rogue decks before, so it's understandable that we now have uh, more games because the games go faster with this uh, best deck in the format. So, let's see here. What is the opponent playing? Come on, baby Blouse, where are you at? Pigaron. 
Do we have a good matchup against Picaram? Uh, yeah, we will need our shrine because the opponent will... <laughs> we want the coin flap again. What is this? Lucky day. We're gonna go first. We will get our ADP and an attach of the turn. And this looks like a terrible, terrible hand. Wow. Not even a quick ball in hand. Maybe Primate Wisdom. Okay, we got a Mulligan. We got a Mulligan and we got a Primate Wisdom. So, at least we have... And uh, yeah, Primate Wisdom, we get a mulligan and a draw for the turn so we can dig three cards. Hopefully that will be enough to find ourselves quick ball. Switch cards. Oh no, no, no. Not what we want to see here. I'm gonna get that water energy. Also gonna check ADP. Are you in here? Yeah, one ADP seems to be priced. Alright, Primate Wisdom. Will we get ourselves a quick ball, please? An acrobike. Well, this is getting in suspense. We can dig one more card deeper. So we already gonna discard that metal frying pan. Okay, Zation. Taking the Zation. At this point, there's a lot of tag teams in board, but uh, on board. But I still think, yeah, I'm gonna attach here. We do have a switch in hand, so we'll see how it goes. We didn't have ADP, which is well, we do have energy switch. Yeah, energy switch in hand. So you'll see that this deck can use uh, ultra creation even if things go bad. Yeah, we get more cards here. Ta da! Yeah, if things go badly, like in this scenario, if we don't find a quick ball, we can at least rely on energy switch, which is a, a tree of in this deck, so that does help out. Hopefully we'll be able to showcase that in this video. Opponent starts with a Raichu and a Lolan Raichu. That's good. That means uh, it does have 280 technically because we are a metal type smacking into it. it has a resistance of two, so Shrine will be a must for two turns. He also has energy switches. Oh, the nice ones from Hurt Gold Soul Silver. That's there are the best ones. Look at that. Wop of in the background, Typhlosion, getting that fire energy. Ah, oh, fantastic. Okay. He has will he get the first turn full blitz? Then we will be uh put ourselves on the clock here. Oof, we can smack 230, but that's gonna be 210 because of the metal resistance. Ooh, and even chaotic well. So our shrines will not come in play. Oh, but he doesn't get the first turn full blitz, which is good for us. Okay, here is the quick ball we were talking about before. So, uh, we're gonna research anyhow. So I think we're gonna quick ball, get rid of. Do we get? Do we need another water energy? Probably not. Only need one. So here comes ADP, ADP, easy as one, two, three, ADP, water energy. Okay. Now we switch to this, he's gonna say, what are you doing? Energy spinner, getting that metal, actually <laughs> energy switch, getting that energy onto the uh, Pika Ram, actually on the ADP, what am I saying? I'm gonna smack down authorization, why not? Uh, we could save our, yeah, Prime Wisdom, saving that custom catcher for sure, we're gonna need that. We got a metal energy, that's good in the discard pile, either way. I'm gonna get the escape board, maybe on the Zation, if we attack we can retreat with it. Doesn't seem like a bad idea, right? Or on this guy, so we can easily retreat it later? Huh, difficult scenarios. Probably gonna smack with this guy one turn. How many switch cards in the discard pile? Only one. I'm gonna put it here, you never know what happens. And go for the research. Okay, we get the switch card either way. The good news is, we get rid of this stupid chaotic swell. That's already good. That means if we would have let it in play, he could have like used Marshadow to get rid of it and put a Thunder Mount anyhow. So you might say, why are, why are we doing this? That is the ultimate reason. Next, next turn we only need to find Metal Saucer. Here comes Ultra Creation GX. Even though we did not start with ADP, we did get the Ultra Creation off. Now uh, he, ha he has time to find Thunder Mount. Maybe we, we should have waited until he uh, gotten off uh, his Thunder Mountain. Okay, Electro Power three times. That is very scary. That's already at 90 extra damage. He could actually knock us out with Attack Bolt if he uh, desires that. I wonder. Tapu Koko. Yeah, either way, he could have used Tapu Koko and attached up the turn, so uh, Kyalex Fell had to go. He, he didn't even need Thunder Mount, so that's good. Lucky for us, we did that. Hopefully our other shrine is in the deck. Should have actually checked that. We do have great catcher, so we can actually uh, KO the Dennis at this point to win the game. I wonder if he will go for the Tag Bolt. Probably think so. He's gonna go for the Tag Bolt and knock us out. Otherwise, he's not gonna be able to do it. Okay, the Big Charm is needed. We do have Switch. Don't have Jirachi anywhere. So Pikaram, 
putting up some aggression here, knocking his out with attack bolt. So at least he has to go through uh, lots of Zations this time around. We are gonna promote yeah this Zation. He's gonna have to two shot that. We are we just need metal saucer on this guy. Come on, skateboard. Okay, that's actually not that's actually a good pivot. Now that I think about it. We can uh, use the skateboard on the Jirachi, uh, actually on the, the Finny here, switch to the Finny. Uh, we could save a custom catcher, we could, but we still have lots of options left. I think I want to go deeply into the deck to find metal resources, so we actually dig 7 deep. And we still have like an Oranguru left hand. I think I'm gonna go with that scenario. We still have custom catchers, we only need to find like our good stuff here. Energy switch, metal saucer, that's good. There we go. Getting the uh, suspense ready. We can use quick ball. We already have it at Denny here, so I'm gonna go for quick ball. Marnie could be good. I think I'm gonna get rid of the energy switch. Finding ourselves Jirachi. Yeah, Jirachi will be good. Next up, some acrobikes coming along. Energy, that's good. Another energy in the discard pile. Energy, acrobike, switch card. Hmm. Yeah, we can switch again with our Jirachi, see what we find. We're digging for shrine. Digging for some shrines. Don't have the shrine, we do have a metal saucer. Metal saucer, how many? Yeah, we. this is gonna work out. Metal saucer again. On the authorization. So we're setting up multiple zations at this point, digging for our good card, shrine. Uh, yeah, here comes the Dene. Oof, a very explosive turn. We have we have the shrine, fantastic. And we even have another metal saucer. You look look at this deck go. It's insane. Shrine right there, and we can even dig one more t card deep with the primate wisdom. What will we find? A Marnie. Okay, fine. Here you go, Brave Blade, <coughs> and the shrine, kicking in some damage. Okay, we did not get the KO, but uh, the speaker arm is uh, almost going down and uh, the right is also being set up. And uh, we do have like lots of custom catchers left in the deck, so it should work out. Unless he has like a uh, bazillion attack switching, paralyzing us, we do have another switch in hand. He already used his GX move, he could go with custom catchers and great catchers, what's in his discard pile. He could target down the Danny and then afterwards target down something else. We do have Marnie to uh, put his hand to a low hand side, so we did see that Big Charm helped him out a ton. He now has a 270 HP, oh, which is a, a shame. The good news is we get that one damage counter on the Raichu, 280, yeah, it's not gonna work out here. We're gonna have to go after it today. Will he be able to knock us out? Even He only has one Electro Power left, right? He already used his GX move, so yeah, I think we should be good. We can switch. How many energies in this car pile? Two, one metal, yeah, we do have one metal saucer left. Yeah, we can switch and uh, get that energy uh, station. He's probably not going to be able to knock us out. If that is the case, we're probably going to win this. Because we have two Zations, two attackers. Although, uh, yeah, he can still go after the Dedenny at this point. He can full blitz onto it because, uh, yeah, we have one damage counter on us. Maybe he should have used Voltner for a Great Catcher. Maybe he has Great Catcher in hand. Very close game indeed, so uh, I'm glad I'm able to showcase that... Uh, yeah, it can be close at some points because of Big Charm. Pika run with a Big Charm survives. If he doesn't have the hit, didn't have the Big Charm, we, we would have been able to one-shot it easily. Okay, he retreats and he's gonna go for the Tandem Shock. It's not gonna affect us one tiny bit. Although, yeah, we smack damage on here, which is an issue. We could Marnie and find our uh, custom. How many switches in our discard pile? Three, okay, that is our last switch for the day. Here comes the Marnie. We can Marnie and Primate Wisdom, so we are gonna be able to uh, find our resources. This <laughs> Raichu also has a big charm, insane. It's probably gonna paralyze us if he smacks down Zero Aura. We did not find uh, a way to knock this guy out. How many custom catchers? In the discard pile, one. So we can only gust one more time, which got me concerned here. We can gust. He's probably gonna come with the Raichu anyhow. 
We smack 260, that's gonna be 240, it's not gonna be enough, we're gonna have to go for... Gonna have to go for the two shot here. Yeah, energy on the Zation. Gonna go Primate Wisdom, might as well put this Aranguru back. We can use that actually to uh, get some stuff back. We have the custom catchers here. Okay, Brave Blade, let's rock again. 230, he only has energies on his uh, Raichu. He cannot use the GX move. We have custom catchers, this guy is almost damaged. He could be using things like Mallow and Lana, which could be a concern. So he switches, uh, he could find energy switch and then use full blitz, which could be uh, very crazy. <laughs> We're still not out of the woodworks yet. We could have also like uh, attacked with this Zacian, but this Zacian can actually survive some hits. Energy switch and an energy. Okay, he's going to be able to use the uh, attack. He's, is he going to attack with the Coco? Coco only gives up two prize cards. We do have custom catches, so that at least is good. I wonder how this will change. Volkner. I think we should have uh, gone with this Zacian. Yeah, now that I think about it. Okay, he's swapping out around some energies. This will be in play, so we will get paralyzed again at one point, unfortunately. All right. Yeah, that's the only thing that can knock us out here is the the Coco here with 200 damage output. We don't have Metal Frying Pan, unfortunately, anymore. Could go Custom Catchers on the Raichu. A Mew would have also been fine to just spread damage around, but it is what it is. You can also use Energy Switch and use a Ranguru, but he only needs to take one more prize card, so I wonder. I'm gonna go for, yeah, Zacian will attack. He's gonna paralyze us, which is a very insane thing. We don't have, do we have an escape board left? Probably not. So Picaram is gonna win, unfortunately. Should have actually uh, promoted the other, the other Zacian. Yeah, definitely should have done that. But yeah, you win some, you lose some. Energy spinner, what do we have left? Absol. Absol, yeah, one, two, three. Four, five, six. Yeah, We're, we can deck ourselves out if we do that scenario. We're gonna be stuck either way. He's gonna probably paralyze us. We do have energy switches, so that could work out. Here comes Brave Blade. Maybe we can attack with a, a slap with Jirachi. It's not gonna work, but still. We got two prize cards. Thunder Mountain's still in play. That's very, very unfortunate. That means with one energy. Okay, Metal Saucer. Metal Saucer, how much HP does this guy have left? Okay, he's gonna Tandem Shock us. Ugh. Is he got, maybe he's gonna gust, gust and use Grade Catcher on the Dene. That, that would have actually been bad. Okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, but I should have actually promoted the Zacian with like lots of HP. That would have saved our game. Anyhow, hopefully you guys enjoyed me playing around with the first place winning list of the Limitless Qualifier number one. If you did, be sure to uh, show your support by destroying the like button, subscribe for more content. I'll be seeing you guys in a future video very, very shortly. So uh, thanks again for watching. See you guys sooner or later. Peace out.